Did you ever wanted to make a daily reward but didn't know how to check if the player already logged in today? I created a basic scene with a claim button that when you press it it marks the prize as done and also makes the button inactive. But as you can see when I log back into the game the button is active again and we can claim the prize again. We need a way to remember that we already claimed the button today and to enable this back tomorrow. Let's take a quick look at the class I already made. Pay attention that we added few things to the using section to handle the UI and the date time. We have a section for all the variables we want to use to enable and disable the button in the texts and a very basic function for the claim button that enable and disable few stuff to make it look like we claim the prize. You are obviously not going to use this in your game but it's just for the example. And as you can see here I connected everything in the inspector. Now we are ready to add some new code. When we click the button we want to save the current time that we just clicked the button. So we're going to use playerprefs.setString and just give it a key name and because we can save only a string int or float we're going to save the datetime.now but as a string. Now that we save the time that we clicked the button on, on start when we start the game we're going to use playerprefs.getInt with the same key name. For the playerprefs get function we also have a default value and for now we're going to use an empty string. And if the time that we got was not the default value and was not an empty string, we're gonna use datetime.pass to get the actual datetime from the string. If we didn't have any value in the string, that means that the get function got the default value, that means that the player never clicked the button, then we can just cast datetime.minValue. Just an FYI, the min value is the 1st of January 1970. This might be familiar for you from other places. Now that we got the date on start, we can know if we should enable or disable the button. The date time dot today give us the first second of the day, that means midnight, and every time we click the button after midnight, it's gonna be bigger than today. So we enable and disable the button on start, but it's not the end yet. On start, and after the player clicked the button, we want him to know how much time he has left to claim the prize again. The time he has left is the time for tomorrow. That means that we can do date time dot today, add days and one, that's tomorrow, minus the time now. To show this in a way that is not just random numbers, we're gonna split it to total hours and total minutes and then put it in a string together. And return the full string with the hours, minutes and all the text that we need to add in between. We obviously gonna need to add a new serialized field for the text. Now we call the function when we disable the button on start and we call the function we press the button and disable it to change the text. Go back to Unity and attach the new field we just created. And when we press play, it seems to work and you can see how late at night I did this. I watched some TV and waited a bit and then I claimed again later and something is weird with the minutes. That is why, because we did total minutes and it put the hours in the minutes also, so we just need to do modulus 60 to get the amount of minutes except the hours. And now it works fine. But we still have a problem. Player can cheat and change the time on the device so the time.now will be different and it seems like you changed days. If you want to see how to block the player from doing so, watch this tutorial about global daytime. And if you are curious more about player prefs, you can watch this short about player prefs. See you there. Bye!